Have you ever wanted to build a technical project but felt stuck when it came to the coding part? Or maybe you've spent hours debugging your application only to realize there was one small error you missed. Well, in this video, I want to share with you an AI powered tool that can make coding faster, easier, and a lot less frustrating. We've all seen how tools like ChatGPT have taken the world by storm over the last two years. But the cool thing about this new AI tool I'm about to reveal is that you can easily integrate it into your ID of choice. This means you'll be able to do things like generate code, perform code completion, and automatically come up with documentation all within your development environment. So with that being said, I'd like you to meet IBM's new Watson Code Assistant. This coding assistant helps developers speed up their workflows using AI, and today I'm partnering up with IBM to show you some of its coolest features. I'll be covering how to set up the Watson X Code Assistant, how to generate code with it, how it can come up with code explanations, unit testing, code documentation, as well as translate code between different programming languages. And to demonstrate all the features, I've created a simple to-do list application that we're going to improve and make changes to using a free trial of the tool. All right, let's get started. First, we need to install the Watson X Code Assistant extension into your development environment. It works seamlessly with popular code editors like Visual Studio Code and Eclipse. For this video, I'll be using VS Code since it's my personal favorite. So what you'll have to do is head to the extensions marketplace in your editor and search for Watson X Code Assistant. Look for the official extension from IBM and once you've found it, click install. This will integrate the Code Assistant right into your editor. Next, you'll need an IBM Cloud account. If you don't already have one, you can sign up using the link in the description. Once you've filled in your details and your account is ready, it's time to log into the IBM Cloud dashboard. All right, once we've signed in, the next step is to generate an API key. This key allows the Watson X Code Assistant extension to communicate with your IBM Cloud account. If you're not sure how to do this, don't worry. I've included a link in the description that will direct you straight to the API key generation page. Once you've generated your API key, head back to your editor. Open the Watson X Code Assistant extension settings and input your API key into the provided field. This will link it to your account and activate the assistant. And that's pretty much it. We're all ready to go. As you can see, the extension allows you to open multiple chats for different projects, and it even comes with a library of basic commands that you can get started with. One cool feature is that you can type in forward slash to quickly access a list of all available commands. Speaking of commands, let's take a closer look at our to-do list application and how to use Watson X Code Assistant to improve it. So this application built using the Django framework allows users to add tasks and mark them as complete. Let's go ahead and add a task. I'm going to type in test Watson X Code Assistant. Once the task is complete, you can mark it as done by clicking the corresponding button. Now let's explore the code base to understand how it works. In the views.py file, we have a task view class that handles the logic for rendering the tasks. Inside this class, we define functions such as getTask, which fetches all the tasks from a database and displays them from the user interface. We have addTask, which handles the creation of new tasks and adds them to the database. And we have mark task complete, which updates the status of the task, marking them as complete. Cool, so that's pretty much our application so far. Right now, it lacks the ability to delete tasks, but let's implement that feature now and use Watson X Code Assistant to speed up the process. Let me show you how easy it is to generate a simple function in just a few steps. I have my project open here, and as you can see, I need to add a delete function to remove tasks. So I'll go ahead and tag the relevant part of the project using the add symbol to highlight the task related code. I can type something like add delete task, generate a delete function. Once I do that, Watson X Code Assistant instantly generates the code for me. You can see that it quickly understands the context and generates code for exactly what we need. All I need to do is copy and paste it into my project. You can also use the quick buttons you see here like explain, document, and unit test if needed. And I'll be showing you these features very soon. So moving on to generating code explanations, if there's a section of your code that you don't quite understand, you can simply use the explain feature. To do this, you can either highlight a section of your code or use the add symbol to tag a specific function or class. For instance, I can type add delete task explain and Watson X Code Assistant will break down the function for me in simple terms. 
This feature is handy when you're working with complex code and need to understand it quickly. What's an Xcode Assistant provides clear and concise explanations, saving you the time and hassle in figuring out how everything works. You can trigger this feature from the command palette by simply pressing Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac. You could also just type explain or select explain this. And yeah, this is a really good way to get instant feedback and learn about your code. Another powerful feature is generating documentation. It's really important when coding to have clear, concise and useful documentation. And what's an Xcode assistant can help you generate code documentation almost instantly. Let's say we want to add doc strings to the function we've just generated. We can either use the document button or type in forward slash document and select the relevant code. And in just a second, what's an Xcode assistant generates stock strings and provides descriptions for the function parameters, return types, as well as important details about the logic. This makes it easier for us to understand the code when collaborating on the project or reviewing it later. Next up, I wanted to show you unit testing. This is a type of testing performed on individual functions and methods to ensure they perform as intended. What's an Xcode Assistant can automatically generate unit tests for your functions, saving you time and effort. Let's say I want to test the delete task function I just created. Normally writing unit tests involves setting up the test framework and manually coding the test cases. But with what's an Xcode assistant, all I need to do is click the unit test button or type in forward slash unit test delete task. And this will generate a testing template for me. Last but not least, let's check out the code translation feature, which is very useful when working across multiple programming languages or when migrating projects. This allows you to convert your code seamlessly from one language to another without losing context or functionality. For example, I want to translate my existing Python code into JavaScript. All I need to do is type in forward slash translate to JavaScript at delete task. And the Watson X code assistant will handle the rest, converting the code into the desired language. This feature is really useful when collaborating with teams using different tech stacks or when adapting existing code bases into new environments. And that's all the core services I wanted to share with you today. As you can see, IBM's Watson Code Assistant makes development processes a lot easier, allowing you to focus on what actually matters, which is building your application and thinking about your end users. The to-do list application in this video was mainly to help demonstrate the power of the Code Assistant, but the possibilities with this tool don't just end here. You can actually apply it to a wide range of projects, whether it's web applications, day-to-day -day coding, or cloud-based solutions. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, don't forget to visit the link in the description to get a free trial of the Watson X Code Assistant. And if you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.